Hello everybody, Hectix here, and welcome back to Enthusia. Now, in the last episode, we managed to finally hit rank 1, so hopefully uh, we can hold on to that for a decent amount of time. I'd rather not dip below rank 6 for obvious reasons. So, uh, yeah, let's just jump right into this. I have gone through the uh, races already, and I am going to do this Arc de Triumph race. I don't think I'm going to beat the 4GT. That's just way too quick, just way out of my league. Uh, everything else, though, I do feel I can hold a candle to. Maybe, maybe not the NSX, but uh, the Jag, the S2000, which I wouldn't mind getting, and the uh, RX-7 here, I think will be okay. So uh, we're going to do this race. It'll get us 2,900 points if we somehow manage to beat that GT, but I don't think we are. Just because of how quick that thing is. I know that thing is stupidly quick in this game. But, uh, hopefully we can at least net us a, uh, second place. That would be very, very nice to get. Now, I am gonna go a little bit defensive here. At the beginning. Because I know that, uh, GT is just gonna come screaming down the straight. And I went way too wide, so he's probably gonna pass me here. Yep. As I'm being pushed as well. I wanted to go quite defensive, but uh, looks like that's not the case. Thought I had a little bit more uh, breaking power than I did, and yep. That's usually what happens at the beginning of this race for me all the time. That uh, first hairpin is just not fun. But here we go, we're in second at least. Now, hopefully, we can uh, keep that NSX behind us. I do believe he's going to pass the uh, Jag for obvious reasons. Can't see the Jag uh, coming in third here. But hopefully we are quick through this section. There we go. A little bit of a wall tap there. Now we got the uh, carousel here, I'm guessing I'm going to call it. I don't quite know what to call this. Just one big giant circle, so... There we go. Part of the power there. Let's see if we can keep it. There we go. Because yeah, that section's a bit scruffy for me, usually. And on to the power. Now, I'm going really early on the brakes here. I'm not messing this hairpin up again, if I can help it. Although the chicane is usually still a bit scruffy for me. There we go. Not bad. Oh wait, I don't need to shift up here because this corner I have to brake anyway. Okay. A little bit of a slide there. That's not going to help things. And then going way wide. Now it is a shame I can't uh, tell how close uh, second, or sorry, not second place, uh, third is. Because I have no, obviously, no rear view mirror. And there's no uh, display to tell me how far ahead I am. It's just going to keep telling me how far behind I am compared to first. Even though I know I'm not going to beat that. He's already done the carousel. And I'm halfway through it. That just shows what A-Class can do. With some of the cars where they're just stupidly quick compared to everybody else. Which, if you do get your hands on one, you can be just as quick. Except for the fact of... Uh, you're not going to be very high in the rankings because of it. So, me getting the second place is actually better than me coming first with that thing. So, yeah. There we go. Didn't mess it up this time. You can definitely hear the car behind me. Ooh, messed up the chicane a little bit. 
Now whether or not that- oh, who am I kidding? That's gotta be the NSX. I can't see that being the Jag still. The Jag has gotta be the one all the way at the back. A little bit wide there. There we go. Eep. A little bit too wide there for my liking. Yeah, that just put me out of shape for all of that, pretty much. Now, I know driving over the... Uh, grass there at that left-hander is uh, counting as me going off-road and losing points for it. But let's be real, it is the optimal line, so that's why I'm doing it. Oh, there's the NSX. Speak of the devil. Thought I was doing quite well in terms of uh, going through the corners and keeping my pace up, but I guess he thought wrong. I could probably be maybe a bit quicker through that carousel, I don't know. But I honestly don't think I can. I don't think I have the grip for it. Yeah, he's definitely got a lot more grip than I do. However, seems like in performance down the... Uh, whoop down the straightaway, I can hold, hold my own a little bit, oh, don't need first gear, what am I doing? Okay, that was way out, way out of shape. Smooth through there, a couple of brakes, there we go. But yeah, it is just the optimal line to go through there. I don't know why they don't have you do that. But yeah, it is just way smoother to do that. Now I am gonna try and hold as much as I can to the inside. Just because I want to play a little bit defensive. Damn it. Wow, he had a really good run through that exit. I'm actually quite surprised at just how quick he came flying out of that corner. That is very, very impressive. Harm the brakes again. I was probably way too early there, but again, I'd rather be a little bit more safe than sorry here, considering he is giving me a run for my money. I just hope he doesn't dive bomb me into any of these corners. That would be very, very unfortunate. So far, outside of that uh, carousel, not doing nearly as bad as I thought I would. So yeah, as you can see, we're definitely not keeping up with that GT. He's pretty much half a lap ahead of us at this point. At least a good, yeah, he's almost 30 seconds ahead of us, so. Yeah, definitely, definitely not catching that. Hell, right now he could probably spin out and I wouldn't be able to catch him. I would not be surprised. Now, is the SX going to do it again? No, doesn't seem like it. I think I managed to block him just enough that he couldn't. So, there we go. Go back over here. Just so I can have the inside line. There we go. Didn't mess that corner up again. Good. Okay. 
So hopefully we can keep that NSX behind us for this last lap. Okay, nice and smooth with that hairpin this time. Back on the power. Okay, that section was good. That though, that don't help. However, that line is just really, really good. So that gave us a little bit of an edge, because I don't think the AI will uh, cut it nearly as much as I do. So through that corner, I'm guaranteed pretty much to be quicker, hopefully. So. Well, obviously not as quick as the GT, considering that beats me everywhere else but there, but... Yeah, it looks like we're beating the NSX unless he does something crazy here at the end. It's just a run to the line. And we're good. So, yeah, that GT is just way too quick. Way too quick. But we did manage to hold ourselves well against that uh, NSX, thankfully. With a little bit of a bumping and shoving as well. So, still got a respectable amount of points in the end. Now, what are we getting? Hopefully something good. Oh, we got the FC. Okay, not bad. Don't think I plan to use it, but not bad. Considering I don't want to get into the rear-wheel drive cars just yet. But there we go. We also got a driver level up. So there we go. And 1,740 points. I'll take that. We've maintained rank number one. Good. At least we're over uh, half our Enthusia points. I would like to uh, get that up a little bit more if I can help it. Because it is getting uh, a little bit low. Uh, oh, we have Rev City again. In reverse. Uh, we had seven laps last time, so what have we got this time? Oh, there's the four-wheel drive championship. Okay. Um, well, we can go and get our uh, revenge again against the EB110. We can uh, have the tiebreaker, since we're one for one. Uh, R33 wouldn't be bad. It's no R32, but still not bad. Uh, yeah, let's do this, considering we get the most points for it. And we'll get our first R-Class car as well for doing this. And I do believe that's after the entire thing you get it? I don't think it's every race then you get Yeah, it's after everything. If you do all of them, then you get it. I do believe. So, let's see if we can keep that EB110 behind us. We've already been passed. That, uh, that don't bode well. Okay, that definitely doesn't bode well. Ooh, he's a little bit heavy on the brakes there. I'm surprised. Why do I start every race on this track by doing that corner sideways? <laughs> that really don't help. Okay, let's pass him back again. A little bit of air time. I was going to say, I was kind of early on the brakes, so and I'm surprised I'm going so wide. Now, more than likely, and obviously he's going to... Oh, hello. He's going to uh, pass me back here on the straightaway. I can't see uh, me out-dragging this... Audi. I really can't. Uh, okay. Maybe for that time, but... Yeah, hopefully we can uh, keep that going for the rest of the laps. That would be nice. Now we're definitely quicker through that, 
bus stop compared to them. There we go. No uh, sideways drift action this time. Good. A little bit more air time. There we go. That's a much better corner this time around. Definitely didn't go nearly as deep as I did before. Onto the power. As much as I can get away with with the road. There we go. Okay, we're surprisingly quick around here compared to them. That was also very, very close to hitting the uh, wall there. That was definitely playing it a bit too risky. Actually, wait, a bit? More like a hell of a lot too risky. <laughs> I'm amazed I got away with that. Okay, we're definitely just widening the gap. I will say I'm impressed that... Uh, EB110 hasn't decided to get up into second place. That's actually fairly interesting. Oh god. Yeah, definitely not a good corner by me. Then again, I think the reverse track, I've always been struggling at that corner for some weird reason. I don't know why. It feels like I'm going really early on the brakes and I still overshoot it. I don't know what it is. It's one of those weird corners. Oh god. Didn't need to hit the wall there, but... Oh well. Can't do anything about it now. Okay. Much better corner that time, and through the bus stop. where doing that bus stop makes me think of uh, Autumn Ring from Gran Turismo. I don't know why. It just has that feeling to me. But then again, that's probably from playing so much Gran Turismo. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, let's go even earlier on the brakes. There we go. Now, whether or not that's actually quicker than what I've been doing before, I don't know. But, so far, so good. Ten seconds behind. Well, I'm ten seconds ahead. So... There we go. Another lap done. Okay, we're definitely just widening that gap. Good. Oop. Slightly skimmed the wall there through the bus stop. Been doing that pretty well so far. I'm surprised I even hit the wall. I'm usually quite uh, smooth through that section, surprisingly. This is very. Oh, there we go. EB110 just got past the Audi. Now then, it's a 12 second lead for one full lap quick enough. Well, not quick enough, but more than enough. Let's see. Feels like I'm doing uh, one of the driving challenges from uh, Gran Turismo 4. Wasn't it uh, challenge number 26 or was it 31 or 32? can't remember what number it was, but it has you do the full uh, Nordschleife. And you have to sit there and wait for like 10 minutes. Or something like that. That, that. that race was a pain in the butt. Those that have done it will definitely agree with me on it. That's one race I never want to do again. I don't think I ever managed to finish that one. I don't think I ever could finish that one. 
would have to really, really push it around that track, and you have to get uh, each rival at the appropriate time. If you don't and they're not in the right spot, you are not beating that uh, 300 SL. You're definitely not. So I think you have to pass the uh, 300 SL like just before the finish line, pretty much. Like, that final right-hander onto the straight, well, tiny straight, that is the finish line. But, there we go. That's that race done. So we beat the uh, tiebreaker with the EB110, so that's 2-1. to one. I'll take it. Wow, the R33's in last. That hurts. That hurts a little bit. But there we go. Now, I, can't, I don't think you get the race car first thing. I could be wrong. Oh, no, you do. We got ourselves a uh, BMW M1 Pro car as my throat dies. <clears throat> Excuse me. There we go. Our first race car as I'm going to take a drink. Okay. There we go. Now, I would like to use it, but... Yeah, there's no point when you get to uh, the end of the game for the final race. You don't need them. But 2,700 points is nice. We're keeping that uh, ranking at number one. And 420 Enthusia points. Probably going to get something that freaking comments for that. <laughs> I would not be surprised. But uh, what do we got next? Four-wheel drive car championship race two. So I think we get another, yeah, we get another race car for this one. So, 3,300 points, though, is nice. But an R34, eh, and an R33. Let's see about that. How much would this one give me? 1,000. Uh, yeah. Let's do this one. Because even if I come in third place... I still make more points than the other one coming in first. So yeah, let's do this one. And then uh, this should take us probably to the 30 minute mark. So that'll probably wrap up, probably wrap up the episode. There we go. I still can't speak. Yeah, we have 11 laps around here. Yeah, this is gonna, this is probably gonna be like an eight to 10 minute race. So here we go. Now, I do believe as long as you come in fourth place, you get the uh, prize car at the end. I believe there is a limit on what position you can come in that uh, will allow you to get a drawing in the prize raffle in general. I think it's fourth. If I come in fifth or last, I don't get anything. So, either way, as long as we have a decent position, we should get the race car. There we go. Heavy on the brakes. I hate this hairpin. That's not... Uh, I'm never quick through that hairpin. Although I don't think the AI is too quick either. Now, I think the GC8, yeah, GC8 is still behind me. The uh, R34 hasn't barged his way through yet. Keyword is yet. After all, we do have uh, quite a good amount of time for him to do that. Now, if we get the uh, GC8, that would be quite... Oh, wait a minute. No, we won't. We've got the prize car. Always forget that. So, wouldn't mind getting the GC8 over the race car, funny enough, because I can actually use the GC8. But getting more race cars, I guess, is nice. I might do a uh, bonus episode after the uh, entire series is done, where I go around do a couple races with uh, the race cars, just to uh, show them off a little bit. Because I know... Some people more than likely want to see me use them, so 
definitely tempted to do that. Also, I think uh, the GCA just got passed. I saw a different car. Oop. I saw a different car in second. As I bump the wall and mess up that whole section. Oh, nope, never mind. GCA is still in second. Anyway, I'll see that in editing after whether or not uh, he did get passed. But uh, so far, outside of a few uh, scruffy corners, not. Uh, wouldn't say I'm doing too bad. Do this hairpin again. Good. Didn't drift sideways again. So that means I can put the power down for this straightaway a lot better. Early on the brakes. There we go. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, they're much quicker through there than I am. I don't know, I just... It's not a very comfortable section for me to do. For some weird reason. But I think it's... I just get... I feel a little bit uh, too claustrophobic. Normally I'm not claustrophobic, but... Yeah, for some reason... In racing games, when it gets quite narrow, I don't feel quite comfortable driving around, so I think that's probably what it is. There we go, hairpin again. Uh, he's, I can barely make him out in the mirror, ever so slightly. go. Okay, that was much better this time. We're also getting close to the uh, halfway point for the race. There we go. Definitely a lot quicker through there this time. In fact, we're actually pulling away from the Impreza this time. That's good. Getting some ground. I just think, actually right now, the R34 is not uh, in second place just because it probably doesn't have the uh, space to actually use the power. Considering we have mostly corners through here and there's only one big straightaway section, so it's probably struggling to uh, use the power that it has, considering, yeah, there's really not much area to do so. And more than likely, the Impreza is obviously better geared for this, being a rally car, right? It has the gearing for it. So, yeah. Not to say that I'm not driving a rally car, but... I think this is a much older generation for rally car. I forget if this and that GC8 actually competed against each other, or if my Celica is actually an older rally car. Somebody who uh, knows rally well, feel free to let me know. I'm actually quite curious about that, whether or not these two would have uh, been competing at the same time. Or if it would have been the uh, previous generation of uh, Sleeka. But we're already past the halfway mark. A little bit out of shape there. Yeah, definitely. That didn't feel too good. Yep, that's my first mistake. That's going to cost me. Uh, probably didn't cost me as much as I thought. Still going to cost me. Oh yeah, it only costed me four uh, tenths of a second. Not as, uh, oops, not as much as I thought it would. There 
There we go. Take it easy through here. At least we're going to get really good points for this. I think actually doing this race, it'll end up being the most points we've ever got so far. I think the most would have been the, uh, was it the Rev City one for 2,950? I think was the most we got. And then after that it would have been Rev City again. No, it would have been the uh, Arc de Triomphe for 2,900. And then this is 3,300 points, surprisingly. So, yeah, this would be the most points we've gotten in a single race. Oop. Bounce off the wall. Okay, so he is gaining a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, yeah, he's gaining quite a lot. Okay, there we go. To the hairpin again. Oh, he's right there. Uh, yeah, this might come down to the wire for the last little bit. Put on the brakes early. Put some power in. There we go. Okay. Oh, we just gained half of it back. Just through that little section. Okay. There we go. Trying to keep it as smooth as I can. A little bit early on the brakes. There we go. Oh yeah, we've got the gap back up to where it's supposed to be. I don't know where he was getting all that sudden speed from. That was really random. But this is the final lap. So unless I'm doing something stupid or just too slow in general, he will pass me back. So let's not throw this away. There we go. Okay, yeah, we're good. Even if I mess up this last corner, we're fine. And then just gun it to the line. There we go. Started on pole, finished on pole. Good race. The R34 is actually in fifth. Wow, I am surprised. R33 in fourth. Okay, the Impreza's just went ham in second and third. And the Evo, sadly, in last. Okay. Surprisingly, I also had the fastest lap time compared to them. I was actually thinking... Uh, it would be one of them with the fastest lap time? Nope. Ah, the McLaren F1 GTR, the race car that I always end up using. There we go. Another race car to add to the collection. There we go. That is actually a very fun car to drive. Not gonna lie. It's a shame compared to the other ones, it gets massively outclassed. So that's a damn shame. And there we go. Driver level up again. Level 28 now. We'll get uh, half our points back, but more importantly, 3,300 points. I will definitely be keeping my first place. Thank you. And there we go. That's uh, going to wrap it up for this episode. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed today's episode. And I will see you all 
in the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Mm,